Will my dog be ready for this hunting season? Welcome to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, where you can learn to train your retriever with our online videos. Every year as hunting season approaches, all retriever owners, especially those that have younger retrievers that have never hunted before, start wondering about that one specific question. You know, is my dog gonna be ready for hunting season? And it's a big question. It's an important question to be asking because you need to make sure that you do it right. Your retriever's first hunt is incredibly important. It's their very first experience with this sport that we all love. So just like we love it, we want our dogs to love it. So a big part of that is making sure your dog is actually ready to go on their first hunt. If you do it too soon and your dog's actually not fully prepared, you're gonna run into some problems. It may not be the end of the world or, you know, there's some horror stories of things really going south on a dog's first hunt, especially if they're not prepared. So we wanna make sure that we get it right because if it goes right and you do this right, it's gonna be a great first experience and your dog's cannot, is not gonna be able to wait. It's gonna be raring to go on the next hunt. So let's make sure we get this right and let's talk through some things to make sure you know if your dog is ready for its first hunt and ready to take it out there hunting. So what are some things you need to consider? What are skill sets that need to be covered? Because that's what's important here is really skill sets. You may be wondering about age and I'll talk about that here in a bit, but let me, I wanna tie everything to skill sets because that's the most important part. Age is really irrelevant if the skill sets haven't been done. Now, fortunately, if you do the work in the right order and you take time and you make sure that the skill sets are done, the age thing will take care of itself because it takes time to train a dog and it takes time to develop them to where they're actually ready to go on a hunt. So odds are if you do all this right, your dog will be old enough for its first hunt. But what are the skill sets that they need to have really mastered? Well, number one is basic obedience. Number two is gonna be intermediate obedience. Three, advanced obedience. And then four is basic gun dog skills. You really gotta have all of those things down pretty well. Your dog needs to be what I would call proficient at them. And proficient is the key word. Don't just go out and do it a couple times and say, okay, we're good to go. Proficient means your dog can do it day in, day out. They're comfortable with it. They're very fluent. They're very proficient. They can do it very well. So I want you to keep that word in the back of your mind. If you, if you do and let that be your guide here on the things that you cover, you'll be good to go. Now, I'm actually going to cover a few key things here because we just, all those skill sets are made up of tons of skills and it's a lot to it. So it's very important that you get all that right. I'm gonna cover a few key things here that are really gonna come later, but just know you can't really neglect the things that I've already mentioned. You've gotta make sure those are covered right. And if you want that covered right, our courses help you go through that process step by step. So if you're interested in learning more about that, there's a link below and you can learn more about our courses that will take you step by step through. But for now, let me cover a few very important key things that are gonna be related kind of in the basic gun dog skills section. And then really number one is the sights and the sounds of the hunt, which is really uh, gunfire and you've got the goose or duck call. You don't want to go out there on a hunt and number one, your dog's never been introduced or really very comfortable with gunfire. And then number two, you don't want the hunt to be the very first time your dog's ever heard a duck or a goose call. If that's the case, you could run into some serious effects. And this is one of the key pieces because if you go out there and your dog's not comfortable with that or proficient, and, I, and the key word is proficient. A lot of people will go out there, do a short gunfire intro and then go out there hunting and then all of a sudden their dog is scared because their dog's not proficient at gunfire or the duck and goose call. So just remember that. You wanna make sure your dog is very proficient and comfortable with working with gunfire and working around ducks and goose calls. If you do that, you're gonna avoid a major issue that could be a major stumbling block. Number two is decoy work. You wanna make sure that your dog is comfortable working in decoys. You know, it never fails. A lot of people, they cover every little detail, but they forget about the decoys. And it, maybe they did a couple of retrieves and decoys on land. That's not enough. Your dog needs to be proficient at it because nothing's worse than to be sitting there. You shoot the bird. Everything's looking perfect. Your dog's steady. They're quiet. You send them. They go out there. They're going straight for the bird. And then they see this decoy right here and boom, they pick it up and they bring the decoy back. And that, I mean, it's a really kind of a funny situation, but it's also not too funny because that's not what needs to happen. We don't want our dogs to get in the habit of that. So make sure to work your dog in decoys, make sure they're very comfortable with it and proficient. Again, that's the key word, remember, proficient. And finally, do nothing. And I know that sounds crazy, but you're, you know, if you go out there on a hunt, your dog is gonna need to learn to be calm. They're gonna need to learn to be patient, even if there's not a lot going on, which happens often. If you get out in the field early or, uh, and you're sitting there waiting on shooting time, you want your dog to be calm. You don't want them getting antsy. You don't want them whining. You don't want them distracting you when you're trying to talk to your buddies, when you're trying to focus on everything you need to do. Your dog needs to sit there nice and quiet. And then also, 
you know, if you shoot a few birds and you're waiting for the next volley, but you know it's gonna be a later flight, you need your dog to be calm. So what I would recommend is incorporate that into your everyday life when you're grilling, when you're watching TV, have your dog sit there and do nothing, but also take it a step further and actually get out there and do some formal training sessions to where normally when you'd be going out to the field and jumping straight into the session, change it up. Go out to the field and just pick up a bucket, sit on the bucket, have your dog sit beside you, and do nothing. Now, don't do it too often, but do it just enough that your dog starts to get the picture of, okay, well, sometimes we go out and we really just sit here. So with all that said, there's probably one more thing you're thinking about here, and that is age. And I think as you can already tell, the skill sets are incredibly important. You've got to do the skill sets for your dog to be ready. So what I would say on that is if you have done the work and you've taken the time to make sure your dog has all the skill sets, your dog's going to be old enough. I personally prefer to wait till my dogs are a year old or older, so they're a little bit more mature. But if your dog is, let's say, 10 months and you've covered all those skills and you're confident they've got it, go ahead and you can take it on a hunt. But remember, it's all in the skill sets. And you can't neglect the skill sets and only do these three skills that I've just shared with you. Otherwise, it will not go well. You've got to do all that in the right order. Now, if you want help with doing all that in the right order, our courses are laid out step by step. Literally, it's going to take you straight through the process you, that you need to do. All you got to do is purchase the program, purchase the course, watch the videos, and train your dog. I mean, it's really that simple. So if you want help with that, you can follow our courses step by step. Other than that, keep these tips in the back of your mind and apply that to your training, and you should be set and ready for this hunting season.